Welcome back to another edition of Keys to the Game. And in this segment, you just don't work hard enough. Welcome back to another edition of Keys to the Game. In this segment, we're gonna be talking about you just don't work hard enough. Not like always, if you can, please leave a like and subscribe on the channel. This is Keys to the Game on the Arnold Stouts Podcast. I am your host, Arnold Lewis. And today's subject is about you just do not work hard enough. So for context, let me get into the context. What's up, guys? I just dropped my new ebook, Six Must Have Steps to Be an Overseas Basketball Player. You know, I've been playing for the last nine years. I got all the steps and the traits that you need to start your journey with networking, with getting a mentor, all the things that you need to start your journey to be a pro today. So go get that ebook, click the link in the bio, and make sure you get your steps to being that overseas pro one day. Let's go. I was going to the gym to do a little workout. It's this gym in Winter Haven, Florida, if you heard of it, it's called the Field House. Brand new facility they built maybe a couple years ago. Has about eight courts in there. Real nice, real up-to-date, very, very nice building. I went in there to get a workout in. Come to find out, there's an AAU tournament going on in there. Kids are everywhere, parents. Probably the age limit from what I've seen feels probably like 10th grade down to probably maybe some fifth graders. With that being said, I just wanted to check out the talent. I want to see the type of kids that are coming up in this new age era of basketball actually live on the court. I want to see their grit. I want to see what they got. I want to see if they got some grind in it. I want to see if I can just do the eye test, the witness eye test off rip. Who can I just pinpoint like him? He's got him. He's the one that possibly has a chance. And I can tell you right now, a lot of guys just don't work hard enough. Now, I really don't know what else that you would want me to tell you. But the sad fact of the matter is most kids, most players just do not work hard enough. I was watching one of the games and I was talking to one of the parents and he was just Yelling at his own son, telling him, stop looking up here every time you do something. Stop looking up here um, every time a play happens. You worried about what's going on up here. You're supposed to be worried about your game. Get tough. Hit somebody. Yeah, they're a better team, but you got to compete. What is compete? Most guys these days, most kids these days don't really know what competing is. They took the that dog mentality, that nature of I just want to compete. Competing is that is an aggressive trait. That is a very, very aggressive trait if you want to compete. And you cannot be passive trying to compete, especially on the basketball court. You cannot be passive if you're trying to compete. When I used to go play pickup when I, with my, my um, friends when I was younger, we competed. We fight it. We we did not want to lose no game. Doesn't matter if it's a pickup game against older adults, whether it was guys in our same age class. Didn't matter. Oh, you're my friend, so I'm gonna just let you score. I'm going to the gym and not really take it serious. I walk into gyms, and I won't know. Maybe it's me because I'm just so far ahead. But when I was a jit. For context, JIT means when I was a little kid, Florida slang. Sorry about that. But when I was a JIT, we went at everyone. Adult, college player, pro player, did not matter. Don't care if you're better than me. I'm going to go at you with everything I got. I'm going to bump. I'm going to grab. I'm going to fight. I don't care if I'm undersized. I don't care if I'm slim. It doesn't matter. I got a lot of dog in me, especially me, like coming from where I'm coming from. It's a small town, very small town, Hardy County, Wachula, Florida. City is super small, super condensed. Not too many people make it out of here. I think there's probably been five players that I can name ever that made it professionally playing basketball. And I'm one of them. That's in not, including me, it makes five. And I know the other four. So the, the talent that came out of here, there is not too many. But everybody was just, everybody had that dog mentality like, 
our backs are against the wall. And it's like you carry that with you in life. You carry that dog mentality when your life like my back's against the wall. Nobody really looking at me. Nobody's going to see me. Nobody's really expecting me to do something great. I don't have a lot. I need to make it out. That type of hunger and grind and fighting brings something out of you further along down in your like basketball career. It starts forming and morphing you. I remember when we used to go, it was to be Sundays. Sunday pickup hoop day. Just like now. Every Sunday, you know, guys get together and do a little pickup game. <clears throat> we used to have the hood court. Everybody used to go down to the neighborhood. There's one basketball court. You know how it is. Every hood court. You got one court really high, one goal really high, and one really short. <laughs> and you got half, you switch. It used to absolutely go down out there. I'm talking about go down. Grown men, for, it was like the age range went, went from 14 to 35. And if you wasn't good, you wasn't getting picked up. You'd be out there sitting out there two hours not getting picked up because nobody cares about your feelings about if you do not get better and you do not deserve your spot on the court. Yeah, you may get your one down and get on the court and play and get blown out and then don't never get back on the court. You're just going to be sitting there watching, cheerleading for everybody else that's hoping or the teams or the guys who are getting picked up. And that's what's missing in today's game. It's no cutthroat to it. Someone ain't looking you in your face and say, hey, man, you trash. You're not better than me. I'm not saying that you're going to you need to talk trash to everybody and say and talk with a bad demeanor to someone. But I'm just saying it. It's got to be some kind of dog in you. It's got to be some kind of fight. If you want to make it to college, if you want to make it overseas, if you want to make it professional, whatever the case may be, you got to have some kind of dog mentality into you, in you that just says you want it more than the next person. I'm looking at these guys in this AAU. Some of the guys that, well, they're beating the other team. They want. They look like okay. We're here. And we got a little grind in us because we're blowing them out. Everything looks good when you're blowing out another team, but even that team is just like guys are just trotting down the the court. I was talking to one of the parents, and he was just like, "Man, it's the 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 privilege that they all have. They just feel like my kid. You can't tell my kid no, or you can't mistreat my kid by being hard on him. You ever seen the Marshawn?" Uh, what was it, Marshawn Brooks? Is it Marshawn? Not Marshawn Brooks. What's the what's the running back? It's not Marshawn. No, not Marshawn Lynch. We're not Marshawn Brooks. Beast Mode, whatever his name. Beast Mode, and he was being hard on it on one of the kids at football practice, and the mom took him out, and it went viral because he was being hard on the kid. It's like, bro, this is just like literally. Imagine if you're trying to make it to a professional. What are we doing here? Are we trying to prepare kids for life? Or are you trying to prepare them for mediocrity? He told me he's out here training. He said he does football. He was doing the football like little league or lower league or 14 or whatever. And one of the parents came on the field and told him that player is, being, is bullying my player. My, my son or my, my child. And the coach said, what did he do? Did he hit him? Was he roughing him up? Say no, he called him stupid. That's bullying on a football field? On a basketball field? I'm sorry. If anybody have a problem with the words that comes out of my mouth or what I say or what I believe, you might want to turn right now. But if you cannot get dealt with being called stupid in the real world, you're going to have a tough time. The world is a lot rougher, meaner, and tougher than that. Getting called stupid at a young age on a football field, it's not really much like the biggest impact on your life at this moment. You got to work harder. You got to have a certain toughness of skin just for life in general. Most times, sports is just a replication of life, of what you're willing to stand and what you're willing to go through and what you're willing to sacrifice to get the most out of and become successful in any field. That's basically the nature of sports. You're sacrificing your body, your time with workouts and training to achieve a goal 
That's just like life. Most of the time you're sacrificing something, your time, um, learning something new, whatever the case is, to elevate yourself to become better so you can become better at whatever field you're in. You train harder to become a better basketball player so you can get on better teams, better opportunities, better schools, better money. That's just the game of life. And there's ups and downs on that all along the way. So it just depends on how bad that you want it. And I don't even want to say like, oh, they're privileged kids. It's every, it's just like this generation of kids these days just do not like being thick skinned. They're not thick skinned. Life is rougher and tougher than that. Outside of the game of basketball, just life in general is so much tougher and such a grind that you have to have thick skin. If you want to get better in basketball, you got to work harder. You're just not working hard enough. I'm telling you right now, you're just not working hard enough. What you're trying to get to, the level that you're trying to reach to, you're going to have to work harder. If you're hearing this, then you know that I'm talking to you. Deep down, you know that you're not working hard enough to get to where you want to be. Your game to be at a certain level, your... You know, if you want coaches looking at you, if you're trying to go to college, if you're trying to go to be a pro, it's steps and levels and it's just work that you must put in to get to that level. It does not happen overnight and it's not going to happen in one day. You got to make a committed decision that I'm going to grind and go all out to get to the level that I want to get to, to become the player that I need to be. But you got to put the work in. You got to go harder. You're not working hard enough. I'm watching it with my own eyes. I'm just doing the litmus test where I just look and see. A lot of y'all just not working hard enough. You're just not working hard enough. If you think that you're working hard enough, i tell you right now, you're not working hard enough. There's always another level. If your mindset is not, there is another level, there's always another level, you're not working hard enough. You got to understand that there's always another level. You always got to be trying to get to another level. That's where your mindset has to be to get to another level. Whatever level that you're on right now, you got to say, you know what? This level is just not good enough. This level that I'm on is not sustaining me to the level that I need to be to get to college, to get to to be a pro one day. This is not the level that I can sustain. This is not the level that's going to get me better. Who do I have to be? Who do I have to be in the process to be the type of player that I need to be to get me to the next level? That's the missing key. Who do you need to become to become a better, a better player? You People just want the things to do. Tell me what to do to become a better player. Well, that's your mentality. How you change your mentality and what you believe and what you become in your mentality would allow you to do the things that you need to do to become the better player. But if you never change your mentality, if you never change your thoughts, if you never change your grind and your mental aspect first, you're never going to get to that, that next level because your mind ain't right. I can go out here and do workouts with my mind not in it. I'm not going to get no kind of advancement from that i'm not going to achieve anything from that so i must get first my mentality first of what is it that i'm trying to get to how hard do i need to work who do i need to be to be the type of person that can work this hard what do i have to do to become the person to be able to work hard enough to even get to the goals that i'm trying to get to you have to become that person first I want to shoot like this and I want to score like this, but there's a certain type of mentality that you must adopt in order to become that person to achieve those things, to even be capable of achieving those things. I want to be a shooter. Well, are you willing to get up a thousand shots every day? Are you, is your mentality set like, man, I haven't got up 500 shots today. Even if for an average high school, you should be getting up like 500 a day. Even if you're, for me, if you're going in that gym, you should be trying to, I only think makes, are you making shots? 500 made is different from 500 shot, but at least you be, should, should be getting up 500 shots in the gym every day or every time you touch that gym. I know it's hard to everybody say every day, but at least four or five days out of the week, you should be getting up 500 shots. You should be getting up 500 shots. It should be going up. You should be... Turning yourself, but that mentality got to be there first. 
great shooter, great shooter, great shooter, great shooter, great shooter. If I want to get to that, I got to keep telling myself that I got to go put the work in. I got to get that mentality to become that shooter, to become that player, to become that dog that I need to be to get me to the next level. Look, that's all I got for this episode, the segment of Keys to the Game. This is just the key that you need to know. You're not working hard enough. You need to kick it into overdrive. You need to be make it a habit. Turn up. Start doing whatever it is that you need to do to excel yourself to get to the next level. Who do you need to become? That's the question you should ask yourself every day. Who do I need to become? Remember, greatness is a habit, not a right. Till next time. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.